A very good evening and welcome to today's edition of KTN Sports. My name is Moses Wahisi. Tonight we start with matters to do with cycling. One man, and he's a Kenyan, he is going to be the first African ever to participate in the Red Bull Transbarian International Cycling Competition come June this year. The chap is called James Moore. He's a confident one, and he's saying, I might be lacking the finances, but I'm confident I will do duty for the country. 25-year-old James Maura is on the brink of becoming the first ever selected African participant of the prestigious Red Bull Trans-Siberian International Bicycle Race slated for 24th of July this year. The 14-day competition, also known as the most challenging and the longest race, will see 18 cyclists from different parts of the world cover about 9,000 kilometers across Russia. Actually, it's still unbelievable. It's, it's still unbelievable. It hasn't sunk inside me. And you know, actually in the first place, nobody has ever recognized you in Kenya. Nobody has ever recognized you locally, neither in the continent. But someone, somewhere, globally has recognized you. You know, that's something that is going to shake you, shock you again. Moura, who has won over 30 medals in several international competitions, has specialized in road racing, time trial, mountain biking, downhill, free biking, among others. But his favorite is the mountain climbing. Because we'll be doing roughly 600 kilometers a day. We'll be having the Queen stage, we'll be doing uh, 1,368 kilometers and uh, climbing up to 15,000 meters altitude gain. That's a lot, that's equivalent to climbing Mount Everest two times. I don't have the money, honestly. <laughs> I don't have the money and uh, just appealing to uh, whoever sponsors. I've tried writing proposals to a couple of companies and I'm hoping because this is something that is really worth it. His last year's application into the race, which saw only 10 riders compete, did not meet the limit despite covering 962 kilometers in 22 hours. You know, there is no support at all being given to cycling. And uh, I can't say that there is a federation, honestly speaking, because uh, if there was a federation, this is something that the federation could have taken so seriously, because they've never been an African. So, But I'm hoping that with the change of the cabinet, I'm, I'm hoping that there is going to be changes. He has been a lot of money in my life. Because I told him that I will not be able to get into the world. His main objective is to create a strong team.